Alright guys and gals, you're going to be making quite a few what we call contact sheets. When you have imagery in your folder that you want to pull together into a Word document or a, a PDF document, you're going to use what we call the Bridge program. So the first step is to go down to Start. You're going to type in Bridge and up should appear Adobe Bridge CS 5.1. This is what the folder should look like. You're going to find your folder going into the computer. So if you go into computer, you can go into, um, you should have all your work in the J drive. You should be able to find my folder, which is Gale. Uh, we'll pick our three. Uh, we'll go into Amanda's. Here's her black and white. Now for the black and white unit, they were asked to gather inspiration from the web looking at different black and white imagery. To make a contact sheet, here are her pictures that she found from the web. Nice. You're going to click on the gray area and you're going to hold your mouse down and you're going to drag across to select the pictures. Once you do that, you'll see them appear in the middle area. Then you'll go up to Output. And you should see it should look something like this, where you have different sets of paper, different presets, the first set is to change the template to custom. The easiest way to do that is to hit page preset and change it down to custom and that will change the custom at the top. Most of our contact sheets will be 11 by 8 and a half. If you click these little tabs you can get your um, PDF in a portrait or a landscape position and that's fine. Um, it really, if you're dragging your contact sheet into a PowerPoint, I would say it should be a landscape position. But if you're just submitting a contact sheet uh, as an assignment, you could make it into a portrait document. Make sure that your inches are selected. That's really important, otherwise it won't quite look right. And the background should be white. Your quality, we like to say, actually right up here, at about 150. And then once you have your document set, you can click on the little black arrow and shrink that down. The columns and rows will change for every assignment. So um, let's say for this one they have 15 pictures. So I can have it be, um, let's see, maybe four columns by four rows. What's four times four? 16. So that would be close. I always use auto spacing and then you can click on layout. Overlay, sometimes I do want to see your file name. I never need to see the extension, but sometimes I want to see your file name uh, for a contact sheet of just knowing if this is a landscape or a movement, I want to see the file name. But if you're just turning in a bunch of pictures for credit, you can unclick the file name. Uh, header, footer, playback, watermark, you don't need any of that. And then if you go down to the bottom, you would click View PDF After Save and Save. Make sure always to save in your J Drive folder. I would call it maybe your, this would be either her black and white folder. So I'm going to go into the J Drive, Gale, our three. This is Amanda's black and white inspiration contact sheet. And here's the contact sheet that appears. That's how you make a contact sheet. Here it is, if you want to see it bigger. There you go. So it's a nice way to see the titles, the pictures that they've chosen, and so on, all on one sheet.